I went to the University of Alabama. I didn't know any other Hertz Fellows. And so um, I remember this blog about these are the fellowships you should apply to if you want to go to grad school. And Hertz Fellowship was at the bottom. It was like, this one's really hard to get. But if you're creative, maybe you'll get it. And I was like, I'm creative. I'll apply. And yeah, that's how, that's how I heard about it. I first found out about the Hertz Foundation because when I was a college student, an undergraduate, my fellowship's advising office told me as a senior that there was this interesting opportunity to apply for. I had never heard of it before, but I thought, well, I'll try. Even though it says it's for people who work in the applied physical sciences and I'm a mathematician, I thought, it sounds interesting enough that I should give it a shot. And so I tried applying. And uh, well, it turns out that they ended up taking a chance on me. But it was a very interesting experience because they asked all kinds of questions which were outside of mathematics. I first heard about the Hertz Fellowship when I was an undergrad. And honestly, at that time, I was kind of intimidated by the whole thing, by Hertz Fellows, by the application process. I didn't really know what to expect and wasn't sure if I was a fit. Uh, but what I've learned since, and now I'm sitting on the other side of the table as an interviewer, um, is that when we interview candidates for the Hertz Fellowship, we're not trying to ding anybody or pose gotcha questions to anyone. We're really trying to look for what makes each person special. What intrigued me about the Hertz Fellowship was that the focus on creative problem solving, which I, I had heard mentioned, but then when I was at the interview process, um, it became very clear from the interviews, that's what they were trying to pull out of me was uh, creative solutions to problems. And I thought that was very intriguing. If you are like passionate about engineering or science, mathematics, whatever it is, like lean into it and like continue that passion, explore that passion. I think Hertz is a great, great way to continue those curiosities you have. Like the independence of the funding source allows you to like not necessarily be tied to a certain project. And like if there's some quirk that like, oh, that seems kind of interesting, in traditional funding sources, you may not be necessarily able to pursue that. And really what they're looking for is not the same set of metrics that you're used to being judged by. They're looking for people who are creative, They've studied hard, they've mastered the academic rigor of their program, but also they've shown that they can connect the dots between fields. They can, they can be energetic and excited about things that they're not experts in and really want to meaningfully contribute to the world. And then finally, just looking for people who can put their head down and get things done and just showing a track record of productivity 